I think one of the hardest trends to style are chunky shoes and especially chunky loafers. So I wanted to do an entire video and give you some outfit ideas on how to wear your chunky sold loafers. And I'm going to show you options without socks, but wait until the end because I have some really fun options for you with socks. And this is something that I have absolutely said I would never do. And I actually put together some looks that I really loved, so I wanted to share them with you. And I'll share a couple that I didn't like, and you'll probably not like them either. But it is something that takes some practice and some trial and error with. So hopefully it will be helpful if you have wanted to try to execute that look because it is pretty specific on some of the things that you need to do. So if you're new around here, my name is Jamie. Welcome to my channel. I do videos all about fashion, style, and trends. So if you love all of those things, then hit that subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications because I do post two videos a week, sometimes a third in there, depending on if I have time. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you have time and also leave me a comment on what outfit was your favorite. So before I get started, I wanted to show you the loafers that I got really quickly because I wanted to tell you the reason why I bought the loafers that I'm wearing in this video is because the sole is not as thick as a lot of the loafers I was looking at. And I didn't want a super thick sole. I think it adds just way too much and it, that's what makes it really difficult to style. These are a little bit easier as you'll see throughout the video. And I love the gold hardware on top. This bit is more of a um, antique gold as opposed to a bright gold. And I just thought with the all black look with that bit, it was really nice. And I think you can wear these super casual or you could dress them up a bit. So wanted to show you those. They're really good. They're also a dupe of a Bottega Veneta, which is like $1,300. So I thought that was kind of cool. But this is a really good option if you want to add a black chunky loafer. They may have had it in another color as well. I'm not sure, but the black works with my wardrobe really well. So really good option and I will link this for you below. So I absolutely loved my skinny jeans with my chunky loafers. So I wanted to show you this outfit where I created balance with them because a lot of people think that you can't wear skinny bottoms with chunky shoes, but I absolutely think you can. You just have to balance with your top half. So wear something that's a little bit relaxed, a little bit um, larger that adds a little bit on top. What you wouldn't want to do is wear a really tight fitted top, really skinny jeans, and then a chunky shoe. And if you are apple shape and you have a little bit larger top half and you have really skinny legs, you could just wear a straight leg instead of the skinny with this. And I think it will look just as good. So I wanted to show you this because I think it's a great casual everyday outfit. I think it's a great transitional outfit. And I think the skinny jeans work really well. So one of my favorite styles of dress is sport luxe, and that is just taking some sporty pieces and mixing them with classic pieces. So that's what I did in this outfit. So I just took a dressed up sweatshirt and some leggings and put on my loafers, and I even had my belt bag on. So this is a pretty sporty outfit, but the loafers add a very classic feel. And I just wanted to give you this example because I thought it was fun. And if you get tired of just throwing on your sneakers or an ankle boot, I thought this was a good option. And this is something that you can wear if it's a little chilly and we're transitioning into spring and you just want something that looks a little bit different. So one of my favorite new on-trend styles of leggings are the slit hem leggings. And you can find them with the slit on the side or the front. I don't think it matters. I think they're all really cute. But I wanted to style these with my loafers because they're my new favorite leggings and why not? And I thought they went really well. I chose to put an oversized sweater with them that's a little bit longer, but it's not super long that it completely covers my bum, but these leggings look more like pants. They don't look like really, really tight leggings. So I think that this outfit is pretty appropriate. And I didn't front tuck the sweater. I just let it go. And I just thought this was a fun outfit that if you had a lunch meeting or even a casual dinner meeting or just wanted to have run errands, I thought this one was a really fun look. Now I would not put socks on with this outfit because I think it would ruin it. So if you have to wear socks with your loafers right now for these outfits, until I get to the ones with socks, then just find the no-show socks that will work and won't show and they'll just be right inside the loafer. So this outfit has a very classic but 
trendy spin to it because I took a pair of vintage straight leg jeans and a light wash and put on a cropped pink cardigan with a black fitted turtleneck and then the chunky loafers. And I thought this was a really good everyday casual outfit. And I love the layering for right now because it helps keep me warm. But if you wanted to transition this outfit into spring, you could just do a t-shirt underneath that as opposed to the turtleneck. I would pick maybe a crew neck or scoop neck t-shirt to go underneath it. And I do think even though the jeans and the cardigan are a little trendy and even the chunky loafer that they still have a classic feel to them. So I think this outfit has a lot of long longevity to it and if you don't have a chunky loafer and you just have a regular loafer I think that would work with this outfit as well. So I wanted to include a couple of outfits in this video with faux leather pants and you might not think that you could wear loafers with faux leather pants which I wouldn't a classic loafer but a chunky loafer for some reason just works. So I wanted to show you the first option that I did, which is a more casual option. And the faux leather pants that I have are more of a straight leg jean style. And that way I can either wear them casually, I've even put them with sneakers, or I can dress them up with heels. Doesn't really matter, you can do a lot with them. So I wanted to show you the casual version first, which is just a pullover striped sweater that I have my belt bag to make it even more casual and the loafers and i thought this had a very casual edgy and sporty and even classic look to it so i have mixed a lot of different things here and i just thought it was a lot of fun so if you wanted to have a little bit more of a dressed up look or serious look with a little bit of an edge because i do think the faux leather pants are a little bit edgy then you could just wear all black. If your faux leather pants are black like mine, I just put on my black turtleneck and then I threw a cool blazer over it with the loafers and I was good to go. If I have a meeting or a dinner or somewhere that I just need to be a little bit more dressed up, I thought this was a fun outfit to wear. But I really do love that I had options where I could take these two items together and either create a dressed up outfit or a very casual everyday outfit. So now for my favorite section of outfits, which are styled with socks and loafers. And this was quite a challenge for me. It's not something that I normally wear, but I really wanted to create some cute outfits to give you some ideas of what you can do if you want to do this. So the first one is my absolute favorite. It's just a casual outfit with some slim straight jeans that I have. And I just put my favorite t-shirt on and my favorite blazer and some white socks and the black loafers. And you might be thinking, why did she put white socks on? But actually, if you keep looking at it, it's a good mix and it's really cute in my mind. So the Y2K trend that's going right now that's really big are white socks with your shoes. And so that's what I wanted to try at first and I really loved it but you can also wear black socks, which I think a lot of people would prefer. But this outfit, I felt like needed a little bit of something. And so what I did is I swapped out the tan blazer for a black blazer. And I think that actually made a better combination with the outfit and made the black socks work a little bit more. I think the black blazer dressed it up just a little bit more than the tan blazer, which is probably why it worked better. But I'd love to know which of the three outfits here was your favorite. So I have seen a lot of images where people have styled a mini skirt with socks and loafers and I thought it was a really fun look so I wanted to try it. So I took my black mini skirt and I did want to keep this pretty casual so I just put on my new Paris sweatshirt and the sweatshirt's a little bit more oversized and relaxed which is what I think you need to do here to keep it balanced with that chunkier shoe. And I did add tights to my outfit because I had seen a couple of people do this and I think this is a great way to make it more practical for the winter time because you could wear this out, just throw a longer coat on over it and take it off when you get somewhere and I think it would work really well. And I think the black socks are cute. You can still see them pretty well. And I just thought this was a fun look. Now I wanted to show it to you without the tights because if you can wear a self tanner and not blind people with white legs like I do, then you could totally pull this off. And I really did love this as an option for you to transition into springtime. So I saw an image on Pinterest where someone was wearing a white eyelet dress white socks and chunky black loafers and i wanted to try it because i thought it looked adorable on her but i want to show you this because it did not work on me maybe it's just because it's just completely not my style but i didn't love the combination of the really feminine really light fabric lightweight dress with the really 
chunky shoes on the bottom. Even though this had an A-line skirt and it was a little fuller, I just didn't think the combination was great. Now you might love this and if you do, please let me know. But for me, it just did not work. So I found these sheer lace socks on Amazon that I thought were adorable. And I have seen people wear sheer kind of lacy socks with the loafers. And I think it looks really good because it's a little bit of a feminine detail as opposed to a heavy sock that looks more like menswear. So I wanted to show you an outfit combination with these because I just thought they were fun. And so I chose my faux leather shorts, not because they were faux leather, but because they were really a nicer short that I have that I want to try to style with some things. So you could take a denim short or another solid color short because I think with the lace socks, they kind of stand out and I don't think you want too many patterns going along with them. So this outfit is pretty plain. It's just a white oversized button up shirt, which is really popular right now. I just left it out. I didn't front tuck it or anything and I wanted to stay super casual with this, but really focus more on the socks because I thought they were so cute. And I loved this combination a lot. I would actually wear this outfit too. I actually love this version a lot. I think it is really comfortable, easy to wear, and very fashion forward. I even tried my faux leather ball cap with this just to see if I would like it as well, and I did. So I think you have lots of options with cute socks like these, but maybe keep your outfits a little bit more in the solid color family as opposed to heavy prints. And I think the socks could be the focus and I think they're a lot of fun. So I really wanted to show you an outfit that is a great example of how to not style loafers and socks. And this is an outfit where I have taken dressier pieces and put them together. So I took a white bodysuit, a nice black blazer, and some nice dark jeans and tried to put the white lace socks and loafers with the outfit, and it just did not work. This whole combination is wrong because all of these other pieces are very crisp and very they're they're dressier looking they're not relaxed they're you don't put them with really casual outfits maybe the blazer you can because that's one dressier piece with a whole entire casual outfit and that does work because you saw the blazer at the very beginning but you've got a combination here that creates a dressier outfit and it just did not work with the socks and loafers and i tried cuffing the jeans once to try to make the outfit a little bit more casual and that didn't work either. So I wanted to show you this example just to get your eyes on something that will just kind of get you thinking about some of the pieces that you can put together and then some of the pieces that you probably should not try. As always, I hope you found this really helpful and I will link the socks that I used in this video, the loafers and anything else that will be available if you're interested in it. It will all be linked in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. If you love this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also hit the subscribe button and the little bell to get notifications so you don't miss any of my content and love your neighbor, be kind, and I'll talk to you next time.